it's Get Cat. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we are going to do a review on the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% Serum. For those new viewers out there, hi, hello, my name is Kat. Please don't forget to like, share, hit that subscribe button down below, and click the bell notifications para notified kayo every time I post. I've been hearing a lot of hype about this product no, all over the internet, sa TikTok, sa YouTube, sa Facebook, where in pinag-uusapan to na serum na napakaganda daw niya, napaka-affordable. Now, I'm going to make a review on it if it's really worth the hype, is it worth the price, is it really that good of a serum, no? When this product became viral all over the internet, sabi ko, okay, I have to purchase this one because they said it's really an amazing serum for oily slash acne prone skin. So for the viewers out there who doesn't know my skin, Skin type that's oily slash acne prone skin and they also said that it's quite cheap compared as to the other serums and it works well so I immediately bought this one para ma review ko and to share my sentiments or to share my thoughts about this product. First let us start talking about its packaging and the bottle itself. So here's the packaging guys. So from the name itself, the ordinary, napaka ordinary lang talaga. As in simple packaging, wala masyadong art or color as in napaka ordinary. Now here is the bottle or the actual container of the serum. It's 30 ml guys. 30 ml yung binili ko for 499 pesos. I'll put the link in the description box below para alam niyo where to buy it. And it comes with a dropper as you can see. And the serum is clear. Now this product claims that it regulates your sebum at the same time, minimizes the appearance of your pores in the face. And it says in the directions that apply to entire face morning and evening before heavier creams and if irritation occurs, cease use and consult a physician. For this product, guys, I started using this last September 4 up until October 24. So basically, mga 7 weeks, almost 2 months of using this product and I'm going to share my experience. Ano ba yung nagustuhan ko sa kanya? Ano ba yung hindi? Yung kiniklaim ba niya? Talagang totoo ba? So basically, the entire experience of this serum for 7 weeks. So ang nangyayari guys, when I started using this one, na feel ko, uh, upon application, pag lagay niyo sa face niyo, it feels sticky. Pero unlike other serums, nag-absorb like, agad siya in a span of seconds or pinakamatagal siguro 1 minute. Hindi siya yung tipong pagkalagay mo na feel mo talaga na sticky all the way siya. So hindi siya ganun na type of serum. Pag kalagay mo, sticky siya upon spreading it evenly on your face. But in a span of seconds, nag-absorb naman siya agad sa skin. So, hindi siya ganun ka-annoying, no? Kasi minsan, alam niyo para ayaw natin ng mga super malagkit sa face natin. Number two na na-notice ko, third night and seventh night when using it is that I feel like nag may tingling effect. Yung parang feeling ko may tusok-tusok na sa skin. So sabi ko, shocks. Baka nag-irritate na yung skin ko. Kasi minsan, yun yung parang indication ko na OMG, hindi hiyang o parang nag-react na siya agad. So what I did was, I stopped using it twice a day kasi yun yung suggestion niya, apply it morning and the evening. Sinap ko siya in the sense that, feeling ko kasi yung face ko na irritate siya sa sobra sigurong naya sinamay. Kasi I've heard some opinions and comments about this one na na irritate daw sila, hindi hiyang, medyo bahakdi daw. So, yun, nag-research ako thoroughly. May tendency pala guys, na kapag sobra-sobra yung niacinamide na linalagay nyo sa mukha nyo, it would irritate your skin, it would lead to redness. So yun, sinap ko siyang gamitin twice a day. Instead, I went for every evening lang. So once a day lang, every evening lang yung application ko. And sa morning, nag apply lang ako ng vitamin C. And nawala yung tingling effect or nawala yung parang pusok-pusok effect niya sa face ko. So yun, feeling ko nadamihan siguro yung mukha ko sa niacinamide. Because aside from this serum, of course, your moisturizer, your sunscreen also has niacinamide. So nagpa-pile up na, lumalaki na yung percentage niya. The next thing I notice is that you don't really need a hefty amount to put on your face. Meaning no, hindi talaga dapat as in 5-8 drops. Kasi yun din usually yung reason kung bakit na-irritate o parang nababaguhan yung skin natin. Kasi nilagyan mo na super marami tapos hindi pa siya hiyang, hindi pa siya nakaka-adjust sa formula tapos binigla niyo ulit yung mukha niyo na madamihang amount. So yun lang guys, don't make the same mistake. You only need 2 to 3 drops of this one for your face. The way I apply it is ito, ito yung first count ko, right cheek, then left cheek, then my forehead tapos si spread ko evenly up until the chin. So yun lang guys, Trip, mga estimated 3 drops lang dapat yung gamitin. 
first few days pa lang guys, hindi pa umabot ng week. What I love about this one is that nag-improve yung skin texture ko. I used to have bumpy, alam niyo yung parang rough type of skin. Pero nung in-apply ko siya, talagang nag-smoothen out siya. Mas mabilis pa yung performance niya sa skin texture. Rather than yung Dear Claire's na Vitamin Review. And if you haven't watched it guys, please do. I'll link a card here para i-click nyo din. In a span of 3 or 4 days agad, I immediately noticed na nag-smoothen out ng skin texture niya. So it's really a thumbs up for me. As in 10 out of 10, gusto-gusto ko siya for skin texture. Number 2 na nanonotice ko is mga 2 to 3 weeks, medyo, hindi talaga completely, pero medyo, nawala yung mga pula-pula sa cheeks ko. If you have noticed sa mga pictures or like IG stories ko, yung sa cheeks part ko guys, may mga red spots kasi ito yung bunga ng pricking dati kasi I never really pricked my face tapos yun na prick one time ng isang clinic. So yun, pumula siya, hindi na siya nawala. Na-minimize niya, hindi niya completely nawala for 2 to 3 weeks. But when I continuously observed and applied it, ngayon na 7 weeks na, nakikita niya yung parang okay, hindi na talaga siya visible unlike before. And when this product said na it minimizes sebum production, guys, thumbs up talaga. I used to wake up every morning na parang feeling ko binuhusan ako ng isang bottle ng mantika sa mukha ko na parang napaka shiny, napaka reflecting naman sa light or sa araw. Then when I started using this one, every morning guys, wala na akong oil feel sa cheeks. Although sa T-zone, meron pa konti. Pero hindi na yung tipong, an alam nyo yung parang lala na every morning para ano ba to? Ang dami mo mantika, parang binigo mo yung mantika sa mukha mo. So, hindi na ganun. So, ito yung pinaka na-love ko sa product mo ko. Na na-control niya yung oil production ng face ko. So, really, really a thumbs up. And for 499 pesos, guys, it may be quite mahal for us Filipinos. Pero I swear, worth it siya kasi tingnan niyo. When I say it's worth it, guys, worth it na worth it siya. Kasi, almost two months ko na siyang ginagamit. Pero see, guys, hindi pa siya nakaabot ng half a bottle. Although, yes, medyo may pagkakamahalan siya kasi binibenta siya dito sa Philippines around 499 to 700 pesos. Depende sa seller and depende sa pinatong niya, of course, with all the tax, the shipping rates. Pero imagine, guys, hindi pa siya kalahati ng bottle. Two months ko na siya almost ginagamit. Hindi pa siya ubo. So, para sa akin, it's really worth it. And dun tayo sa mga things that I don't like about this product, siguro yun lang, yung upon application, feeling mo talaga ang super lagkit. Pero, in a span of seconds lang din naman na-absorb ng skin ko. So, hindi siya masyadong annoy. Hindi siya masyadong disturbing for me. So, okay lang. Medyo carry ko lang din yun. But of course, guys, just to be safe, always do a patch test muna before you apply it to your face. So, don't be like me na minsan no, over-excite ako gamitin ng product, I immediately applied it on my face without even realizing or thinking kung madadamage ba siya or whatsoever. So, always do a patch test first before you actually apply the product on your face. Also, for the brightening effect of the niacinamide, na-feel ko lang siya after a month or like one month plus ilang days. Hindi siya yung talagang instant na after three days of using it. Alam niyo yung parang bright na agad siya, hindi. So, it's one of those products na we're in. Kailangan talaga ng more patience. Patience is a virtue, no? Para makita yung results niya. Hindi siya yung immediately after a week talagang yun na. Especially here in the Philippines na palagi pa yung naaarawan. We're always under the scorching heat of the sun, especially me, with my profession and with my work. Hindi siya yung parang makikita nyo yung effect niya kaagad in span of days. Pero, it was worth waiting na nun. Also, upon reading opinions and comments of other people, this one is really best for oily skin. So, if you have dry skin, medyo hindi ko siya rin recommend Kasi, if dry yung skin nyo, you have to have more moisture on the skin. Pero, ito kasi, Ini-regulate niya yung sebum production, meaning dun sa mga oily, mas nag-work siya kasi mini-minimize niya or kinocontrol niya. Sa mga dry skin out there, I recommend na humanap kayo ng mga serums here in high in hyaluron. Hyaluron. Hindi ko ma-pronounce! Hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid. Wait. Hyaluronic acid. <laughs> ano? Nahirapan ako sa pronunciation. Hyaluronic acid. So, if you have dry skin, I recommend you finding serums that has good hyaluronic acid para ma-retain niya yung moisture ng skin niya. 
So overall, was it worth purchasing? Yes, yes, yes. It was really, really worth it for my skin type. It's one of the few products that I feel like I would really maintain buying it or would really maintain it in my stash of skincare items because it was worth it. It worked for me. Although, disclaimer lang guys, ha, it's not designed for treating acne but more of helping your skin brighten up, minimize the pore appearance but not really treat. Hindi siya medicine for acne in short. And that wraps up my entire review on the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. Let me know in the comment section guys, kung ano ba yung mga napansin nyo about the product? Ano ba yung mga effect nyo sa skin nyo? Was it worth it for you? Or was it not? Ano ba yung mga opinions nyo? I would love to hear about it. And just wanted to tell you guys na I'm very very active sa IG stories ko. Please follow me on Instagram if you wanna know more about my personal life. Or if you have suggestions for future contents. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!